uh, you ladies on my left, y'all can stand up. You want to see the gator over here off to the right? I see him. Hello. Hello, gator. Now, y'all do not put anything out of the rails of the boat. These animals can jump two thirds of their body length straight up out of water. So we are officially here in New Orleans. We're staying at the the French Quarter RV Resort. So we're about to leave us out the gate. It is secure. Downtown here. Downtown here, this is the fun stuff. Look on the left, right? Souvenir items, arts and crafts, gift items. We got Shelly. We got Shelly from French Quarter RV. She's giving us all the information, all the good stuff. You all come to New Orleans, this is where you need to stay. That's it. And she gonna hook you up and take care of you. Come on down, babe. straight to the French Quarter. Yeah. People are walking, so we should feel relatively safe. Yeah. Now we just gotta get checked in here. The day is turning out beautiful. Weather, yeah. Beautiful weather. So we can't ask for better than this. So we are officially here in New Orleans. We're staying at the, the French Quarter RV Resort. So we're about to leave us out the gate. It is secure. And uh, we're going down, get some chow. So we'll bring that to you. Stay tuned. Peace. This is where you need to stay. That's and it. she's gonna hook you up and take care of you. That's Come right. on down, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what's up.
at this restaurant right here. Oceana? Oceana. Oceana. Ready? Yes. Alright, let's go in. Alright. Oceana Grill. Well, Oceana Grill. We had a coupon. Oceana Grill for 10% off, and so I decided that I wanted to try some of my friends had I'd had them with them before uh, char grilled oysters. So I got myself a half dozen of those, and then I'm gonna do a sampler, which would be the crawfish etouffee, which is my absolute favorite. Um, the Creole shrimp, no jambalaya, and the red beans and rice. So I got a little bit of uh, just a taste of New Orleans. So I'm excited about that. And, I, and I'm gonna have blackened catfish pork. Yep. Cause you could have tried redfish too. I could have tried the red fish, red fish, but I'm gonna go with the, uh, the blackened. Uh, Catfish, oh boy. So once it comes out, we'll show you what we're working with. And this place was just literally walking distance, walking distance from our RV park. So um, we're staying at the what a French Quarter RV park, yeah. which if you ever come to New Orleans and you're doing your RV, it's a little bit pricey, but it's very safe, it's very clean, and it's literally walking distance from everywhere. Walk walking from to the uh, French Quarter and everything that they have yeah. down here. So we are really, really enjoying it. So uh we're just enjoying our day, just having a leisurely day, and we're just gonna walk around the French Quarter and see what we can find. Yep, and bring it all to you. Bring it all to you. give a shout out to our friends Matt and Gina, one of our best friends. They introduced these to us when we were leaving uh, Destin the last time and we were going through, I don't know, Florida or whatever we are, we're somewhere. Really, but anyway, uh, Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama, and we had the char grilled oysters with the butter. You had them. You can't eat them. Nope. We're not trying to kill you. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what they taste like. Oh, we got plastic. Weird. Alright. So and I think you do something like dip this butter, this bread into the sauce. That's good. All right, so let's try an oyster. That's all it is? It's just a little bit of thing in there, yeah. Oyster. I shouldn't be looking at my fingers, but uh, it's delicious. It's delicious? Uh, okay. let me Let me do this in peace. Okay, all right. <laughs> All right, so I have the blackened catfish po' boy with the fries. And me has the sampler. Crawfish etouffee, red beans and rice, and um, jambalaya. jambalaya. Yep. And a little bit of rice. Right. All right. <laughs> Ready? Well, we about to smash, so we get back. All right, y'all. It's time for adventure time. Me and Elise, we're going to go on the swamp tour. We are at... Cajun Encounters, eco-friendly excursion. So, Elise has agreed to uh, to come with us to do the, something crazy. Face the sun. <laughs> Elise has agreed to come with me to do what? Do something crazy. It's not crazy. It's fun. Pray for me. Okay. So we're gonna go check in. Well, we're gonna bring you along with us to this this swamp tour. Hopefully, we'll see some gators. We'll see some um, snakes, raccoons. I don't know. Maybe get to hold some gators too. So. Stay tuned. It's a lot of bees up here, y'all. We're all right. We're out here in the swamps. The Cajun Encounter. So, funny story. I thought I paid for the VIP tour, and I'm looking, and I see all of these people. I'm like, my boat's only supposed to have ten people. So I did have to go in and correct it. So Elise and I are on the VIP tour, right? So here's the thing. I wonder. I wonder what Tim's doing right now. Two hours later. I tell you what we're gonna be doing, having some fun. Why'd I do four? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're gonna bring you along on this swamp tour. Um, 
it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna go over here. Let's let's go over here and see what what this little area looks like. So you see that all of these people are going to be going in on the big tour. But it looks like on our boat, I only have four people, which is cool. So that means we'll get to see a lot more stuff. So we got turtles, we got birds. So this is going to be our area that we're going to be going to. So again, I don't know what Tim's doing, but I know what I'm doing. Y'all know I like adventure. Oh, we're ready to rock and roll. We only got four people on our tour. And our tour guide, I don't think, what was his name? Jesse? Jesse. Jesse. I think. So no, this, that was the other. All right, you guys. True VIP experience. We made it. We made it. We made it on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what else is happening. Right over here, oh, that's going to be coming down this right hand side. Uh, you ladies on my left, y'all can stand up. You want to see the gator over here off to the right? I see him. Hello. Hello, gator. Now y'all do not put anything out of the rails of the boat. These animals can jump two thirds of their body length straight up out of water, Ooh, right? So that's about a five foot alligator. And that five foot alligator can put its head over these handrails. Wow. Uh, Come this going? way. This way. Come here. Oh, you're putting your hand out there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that way. Get from the back of the boat. He don't listen. He's not a good swamp puppy. <laughs> swamp puppies. Yep, he's literally right here at the back of the boat. Yeah. There you are. Come on. That's why. So what do they eat out here? Do they eat the fish? Snakes, fish, snakes? frogs, big alligators eat turtles, other alligators, wild pigs, raccoons, birds. In case Ducks in the tree. Ducks in a row. And there they go. All right, Elise, what'd you think? We got We're our ducks in a row. It was so fun. It was. It was so fun. We it saw... wasn't scary at all. See? <laughs> they, they were all being chickens, all the rest mm -hmm. of them. We saw um, like five alligators, at least 10 raccoons. Yes. About five snakes. What else? Some turtles. Saw some turtles. Saw some turtles. Only thing we didn't get to see was the uh, wild pigs. We were looking for those, but they weren't out. So, but all in all, I give it a thumbs up. I give our what was our guy's name? Emmett. 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 Here's Emmett. Emmett. Aww. This is our guy Emmett. He did something. Hey, I made my way down to Bourbon Street at nighttime. Got myself a hand grenade. Okay. So I'm here. Sam, what's going on? We're enjoying ourselves. We are in the heart of the French Quarter. We are on Bourbon Street, doing some daytime, walking around, seeing all the people on Bourbon Street. We're having an awesome time. You just, you just gotta be here. So anyway, we're just gonna walk around a little bit more, enjoy ourselves. Having fun? Yep. Huh? Split the pole. Definitely don't want to split the pole while we're here. 
all in New Orleans that hoodoo voodoo is real. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna take any chances. Right. So no splitting out the pole. Well, anyway, I'm from New Orleans, man. What's up, y'all? We on another foodie adventure. So we were just hanging out today. Went to Bourbon Street earlier today. Had a great time. Came back, took a nap. It's part of camping, right? <laughs> so anyway, we decided to take a food adventure. We went to a uh, area of uh, New Orleans called Midtown. Didn't know what we were going for. We went actually to a Whole Foods. Didn't find anything at the Whole Foods, but there was a really nice lady there at the Whole Foods, and we were talking to her about the fact we wanted a salad. We've had so much, you know, fried food, crawfish. called Mona's Cafe. So she told us about it. So we decided to just take a drive over there. So what we got was Greek salad and hummus. And look guys, look how beautiful this is. We got Greek salad with feta cheese, olives, cucumbers, Greek dressing. We got two of those. This is looks is homemade hummus and homemade pita bread. Look how much they gave us. So what I want to do, I want to try the hummus and give a, a first hand reaction just to see how it is. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Taste it and let's see what it tastes like, right? Oh, that's good. All right, we'll get back with y'all in a little bit. We can really smash this. Let's go, babe. Good morning, good morning. Well, it's uh, Monday morning and we are headed out and leaving New Orleans. It's been a great time. We are up, everybody's up this morning. We're gonna get our caravan going. We got Williams on the way over here, getting ready to get Destiny hooked up. We got Brandon and Elise over here. They're gonna be caravanning with us and then we are going to be heading out. So we have enjoyed New Orleans, it was awesome. Great food, great fun, great friends. We had some great excursions, all kinds of good stuff. So praying for travel and graces, we're actually heading into Mississippi. We're gonna go back to South Haven and make a stop on our way back to St. Louis. So we appreciate you for sticking with us this long. So we should have some more adventures for you in South Haven, but um, hey, it's been amazing. So peace out and uh, pray for traveling graces for us. And I'll, I'll check back with you on the road. All right, you guys, this trip has come to an end. We have been out for 16 days. So yes, yeah, since March 12th, all the way to today, March 26, 27th, today's Wednesday. So we have been out for 16 days and we had a great time. We started in St. Louis, went to um, South Haven, Mississippi, to Biloxi, Mississippi, did some fun things with at least like seven other couples there, then continued on with two other couples uh, with um, Williams on the way and staying in the RV, Brandon and Elise and Eric and Tammy, went to New Orleans. And as you saw, we had a great time, great food, great fun, um, just really fun times with friends. So this is, we started out this camp in this season right, you guys. We usually start off with like a small trip on the weekend, but we, we did it this time and we had a great time. So we are now home. Tim's back there unhooking everything and getting all of our stuff loaded up in the truck so that we can go ahead and put the put the RV in storage and get back home but I'm glad you stayed along with us and enjoyed this trip hopefully you enjoyed it we had a great time so um we will be going back out again in about two two and a half weeks and uh just doing some local things in Missouri and Illinois again this is going to be the year of us traveling around Missouri and checking out state parks and just having a good time we have a lot I uh, have a lot going on and we're going to bring it to you. So when Tim comes back, uh, I'll let, see what he has to say to close us out. And I'm sure he'll have some great words for us. Be right back. All right. We're all, hooked, we're all unhooked and ready to go home. You can tell we've been going out yeah. for a long time, you guys. It's, we're tired. But we're not too tired to close this out with some good words from our guy. What do you got to say, babe? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. All good things must come to an end, and that we understand. So don't be sad because it's over. Be happy that it happened. And with that, we're out of here. Let's bust this joint. Let's bust this joint. Boom. Remember, if you ain't tripping. Woo, you ain't living. All right, guys. All right. Peace out. Uh,
Till next time. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. It's a lot, it's every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit now